What's up to everybody? Um, first and foremost, I want to say thank you to everybody that's uh, that's been following me on this channel and uh, the previous um, ADS Play One On One channel. You know, a lot of y'all came over there from there. And this channel was slowly growing, but I kind of wanted to talk to y'all about uh, this whole this whole virus epidemic and all this nonsense. I can't say the full name because apparently YouTube is um, apparently YouTube is like stopping or like blocking videos or whatever like that or people getting like copyright claims and for saying the full name of it but I don't I don't think a lot of people, well, not that I don't think, is that people aren't really informing themselves and making themselves aware that this is really all a case of fear. And I know, you know, you hear that and you're like, yeah, I know, I, I know it's a case of fear. And, um, I know that, you know, it's all in the, you know, in lack of knowledge, but it's like it hasn't really hit people's consciousness the way that it needs to in order for this not to be as much of a quote-unquote crisis as it is. Let me just say this. I know for a fact that I'm not the biggest YouTuber. I'm not the biggest Twitch live streamer or Mixer or any other platform that I live stream on. Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm going to be live streaming back on YouTube again on the, well, after the 30th. So pretty much on, on April 1st, I'm going to get my live streaming privileges back. I didn't talk about it because it was like nothing to talk about. YouTube just being overzealous as hell over a video that I had uploaded by like four or five years ago. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I got a strike for it. You know, it was just one of those many over-enthusiastic overzealous YouTube copyright strikes that doesn't make any sense but because they don't want to review it they leave it you know it has to stay on the on the on your account so I'm just you know maintaining from from that and they almost got me with a second copyright strike because I was playing Grand Blue Fantasy and the portion of the video of the live stream that they said it was copyrighted was actually you know, when you do a match, you know how the versus screen pops up. They said that that portion of it was copyrighted. You know, it was copyright infringement, and I, I ended up getting that lifted. So, it's it's nothing. You know, that copyright strike got cleared up. So, I'm gonna get my streaming privileges back on uh, on April first. But what I was saying before that was, I know that I don't have like, you know, the biggest platform. You know, I don't reach out a lot of I don't reach a lot of people on this channel that I did as my ADS Play 101 channel did um, at its height and what's funny enough that that channel is still growing I haven't uploaded anything to that channel in like quite some time but it's still getting a lot of you know I probably lost like one or two subscribers but I, I, I gained like more than that I don't, I don't know the exact number but the number was up you know i think last time i checked i was like 23 or like i think i was i was around nearly 2300 on that channel and now i look back it's, it's actually at 2300 so you know it's been going up i think it went down a little bit but it went up more than it went down but with that being said like i said i don't i know i don't have as big of a voice yeah, say someone like Maximilian dude uh, you know even low tier God whenever he, people decide they want to record him doing whatever they want to record um, ninja or any or you know even guys like uh, PewDiePie or anybody else that has that when they put a video up they get millions of views within hours you know, I don't have as big of a a voice, or rather, I don't attract 
as much attention as those guys do, but that doesn't mean that the information isn't valuable. It just means that I don't have the notoriety to match those guys to put this information out to where it can reach a mass amount of people other than me just putting it up on my channel, hoping that, you know, people understand what it is I'm saying and it goes viral from there. So, when you look at this whole virus, right, the main thing that got people so up in arms is because it's a condition with a new name that we've never heard before. And people think because it's something with a new name that it's somehow different than everything else that we fought or that we dealt with in terms of mass hysteria and and dealing with, again, dealing with fear. You know, if people look at this virus and how it attacks the, res the respiratory system, pretty much, I look at everybody, you know, from that geo, or let me say the full name, uh, I look at guys like National Geographics and people doing live streams on Instagram and other platforms and other people going live, all they're talking about is just staying in the house and being away from other people. Nobody's really telling you how to boost your immune system, how if you put, how, how if you get like a pot of boiling water or if you get a tablespoon of uh, sea salt, put a few lemon peels in it, let it boil and then just inhale that steam, how it can strengthen your lungs. You know, things like that, you know, even herbal supplements like black seed oil, um, sea moss and, you know, just various other things that, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not just going to tell you necessarily. I'm, I want, I want to put the bug in your ear so you can go search this stuff yourself so that it's not like you're just getting the information from me. No, you can go see that I'm telling you the truth itself. You know, you're not going to have anything to worry about if you just boost your immune system. When you look at all the cases of people that had already died from this, these people weren't doing that. I, was free. I hear you. I guess. <laughs> you know, just random people. See, it's little stuff like that, like just social interaction, man. It's like people, you notice that all the people like myself and other people who aren't really worried about it, most of us understand what this is. It's just mass hysteria. Like, it's nothing to be scared of if you know how to defend yourself against it. It's because of that lack of knowledge you got people going to extremes, buying, well, was at one point, two weeks ago, buying up all the tissue paper, um, buying up a bunch of things that they didn't need to buy up. Uh, you know, and other people have said it before, like, I don't understand how washing your hands and washing your body translates in, in, into buying up all the tissue paper. It's, it's just the, logically, and, and many other things, it, it just doesn't make any sense. If people would just do some critical thinking and not be so in tune to whatever... So, and when people weren't so privy to believing, and, excuse me, being so gullible into believing whatever somebody on the television tells them, then it wouldn't be anything to worry about if you would just do the, you know, with George Carlin, for those of you who know who that is, he was a comedian, but he was more so of a person who was against being politically correct but he did that through comedy in, in, a, in a way that was informative that was smarting you up should you understand the way he was doing it and know that he just wasn't telling jokes you know and many other people you know uh, it's 
like at the end of the day, man, like if people would just wise up and know that this stuff isn't as bad as the media is making it out to be, and knowing that the people who have already died from this this virus are people who are the same amount of people that like likely to die from like the regular flu. And when you look at the regular flu, it's like in your front right now it's like a big white dude down there that kind of reminds me of like wings of redemption i'm not even front i'm not even gonna turn the camera on but you know but it just caught my attention but yeah uh if people would just inform themselves you would realize that you have more of a chance to defend yourself against this than the media makes it out to be you know what I mean? It's one of those things where it's like, if you were just careful, you know, boost your immune system, you know what I'm saying? And do things like that, this virus ain't gonna be, like we survived so many waves of diseases to the point where it's like, we get to this point and we're letting something with a new name cause us to act out in an irrational manner. You know, and the people who aren't falling for this nonsense, in terms of the fear of it, I'm not talking about, you know, the reality of it, I'm talking about like the fear of putting people in a panic because of it. You know, the regular people who are just going by their regular business, um, you know, they may be uh, going to the market, you know, to buy things and they couldn't find it. I mean, I'm at Walmart right now and they're just now getting back to the point where they can restock the shelves. And this has been like two weeks since it was like bad, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm talking about it was so bad over here in this area, in the Bay Area, an area that I stay in. Um, the Walmart that I'm at, two weeks ago, they had to limit the amount of people that were going into the store. Now you gotta imagine how big Walmart is. They had to limit the amount of people going in there to like 10 people at a time and this is minus the workers um, and things like that they just got to the, I think just last week they started letting people back in the store normally without all the extra you know BS now because I'm pretty sure during that time a lot of people were going out of pocket and just buying a bunch of stuff they don't need I can guarantee you during that week where everybody was doing all that panic buying as they call it it was a lot of people that was just buying things that they didn't need and didn't realize that they didn't need it until they got back to the house. I promise you, it was just people just buying a bunch of stuff. It reminded me of when Hurricane Katrina hit. And you know, I had family members down there that was kind of going through that same mentality. It's like you just go in there and you just get whatever you can get. And half of the stuff that you get, you realize you can't even, you don't even need it. You know, but it's just one of those things where it's like, you know, if you let fear take over, it can actually cause you to react in a way that you really shouldn't be reacting. And that's basically where we're at with it right now with this, uh, with this virus scare. Um, it's really not as big of a deal you know it's important to like of course wash your hands but you should have been and you know keep your hands off your face if you didn't wash your hands before and you, you should have been doing that anyway you know what i mean like it shouldn't take a virus of this caliber to scare people into doing things that they should be doing on a day-to-day -day basis before this thing even became a quote-unquote pandemic you know what i mean it's just one of those situations where it's like I can guarantee because like things are calm right now things are getting to the point where it's like you know shelves are getting filled back up in stores because I work at a grocery store not at Walmart but another one that's a little bit closer by me uh, my house it's like things are not um they're not as bad as it was two weeks ago it's improving and it's improving in a good way 
you know, you see shells getting filled back up, like I said before. Uh, people are not panic buying anymore. I mean, you have probably have one or two people out of a hundred that visit the store that probably actually like, you know what I mean, get, they're, probably, they're pretty much trying to play catch up on everything that they couldn't get before, basically. It's not a panic buy necessarily. They're just trying to restock the, the way they normally do, which is a good thing, you know. Um, it's a, and it's a positive thing, man. It's a positive thing that people can, um, you know, people can just go about their business and things can get back to normal. We don't have to worry about all this extra shit because it's not that serious. I mean, it's serious, but it's not so serious to where you have to quote unquote socially distance yourself. I mean, unless the, the whole entire city is on lockdown, like if it, parts of Italy and uh, other parts of the country, or uh, not parts of the country, but in, in other parts of the world. Um, well, I, sh I should say in other parts of the country, because I know New York has like an eight o'clock curfew. Everybody has to be at home by 8 p.m. Um, I know in Texas, everything gets closed. Like you can't be out past, I think 11.59 or at like at midnight, you know, like you can't be out past midnight. Um, in certain parts of Texas, uh, I haven't heard anything about it being a lockdown in Louisiana or any parts of Louisiana. Like I got family in New Orleans, and nothing's bad like that. It's not even bad out here. It's just that people just being like being being the house, you know, as much as you uh, as much as you can. Like if you don't need to go out and get anything, then don't leave the house. Basically, you know. When you look at people like that don't inform themselves, these are mostly people that just want to get drunk and party all the damn time. If they're not getting drunk, if they're not partying, they're not smoking weed, you know, socially, I'm talking about going from like hookah bar to like, you know, hookah, hookah lounges or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, it's like anybody who can do anything else besides gain information, especially at a critical time when they should be, like you could defend yourself against this thing, no problem. It's not a situation where, you know what I mean? And then you gotta ask yourself, why was I panicking in the first place? So you're gonna be asking yourself that anyway once this shit passes. And then I heard from, cause I haven't seen it, cause I don't really watch TV like that for reasons like this. Uh, I'm, I, mean, I trust myself even, even even if I did, not to go into like a panic or nothing like that, cause I don't wanna defend myself against viruses and things like that anyway. Somebody told me that um, supposedly Trump got on TV and announced that uh, yeah, you got to forgive me. I'm, I'm on the lookout for my friend. He's in there uh, buying groceries. He's gonna be out in a minute. He's uh, taking me home. But uh, but yeah, he um, Trump got on there and he announced something about a Great Depression. And I'm I'm just sitting there, and that was and that's what kind of tr triggered me to make this video. Don't worry about that bed. I'm gonna get rid of that uh, next week. Drop this bed thing. I've just been laying up in my room ever since I got this this new bed. So but yeah, what I wanted to add on before I ended that last uh, portion of my video. When you look at all the people who aren't in, who aren't allowing this thing to cause them to react. They're suffering because people are allowing themselves to get caught up in the hysteria. If you don't believe that something will happen, then it won't happen. You know what I mean? In terms of allowing fear to control you. Mm -hmm. Cause there's some things that's gonna happen that we have no control over, but they're also. But when these things happen, the way we respond to them, we do have control over. Them. So if you just stay calm and don't go into panic buying and allow yourself to believe that another depression is gonna happen, cause think about it. Like I was talking about in that last uh, video before I before I stopped it and got home. 
somebody told me that Trump said in the video that um, we're heading into another depression, or he mentioned the Great Depression, and about how it looks like we're going into another one, or something like that. When you look at the Great Depression, the one that we know, that lasted for 10 years. That lasted from 1939 to 1949, if I'm not mistaken. October of 1939 until uh, 1949. I don't remember the exact month. You know, like I used to study this stuff a lot. So, that depression lasts for 10 years. When a couple months, I don't know if it was earlier this month or late last month, when Trump had mentioned that, you know, all this is supposed to be over in August because the virus supposedly can't survive in the heat. First off, how do you know that it's going to be hot enough to destroy the virus? That's the first thing. How hot does the virus, and I, I need to research this myself, how hot does it have to be for a virus not to survive? You know, how, how hot does it have to be for, your, for the virus to get destroyed? Or for a virus cell to be destroyed? You know, because the virus can't survive in the heat, supposedly. Which I think there's some truth to that, but I haven't researched it, so I'm not going to definitely say that. But then again, when you think about your body, whenever you get the flu or anything like that, you your body heats up, and then you get headaches, and you get, like, you know what I'm saying? Things like that. Your body heats up in order to get rid of it, so necessarily killing it with fire that whole term that actually ha that actually holds some merit but maybe not to the extreme that we need to act out and you know do all this crazy nonsense and sleep longer in our homes like crazy I mean of course follow regulations so that you don't get arrested or whatever the case like that you don't want to get in trouble with the law but don't think that this is it if all this is supposed to be supposed to be over by August Supposedly when things start to heat up or even in the summertime, we say we got to wait for it to be summer to heat up Because I know here in California, it gets hot. It gets hot. I know down in New Orleans, it gets hot So if the, if the virus can't survive in the heat, you know Pretty much we might not have anything to worry about in terms of like You know, waiting for it to get hot Because <laughs> the people who've been down in New Orleans before, especially during the summer, they know it gets heated I remember a couple summers ago they had people making videos of them frying eggs in skillets that they left on the ground. You know what I mean? Because that's how hot it was. Cooking steaks and things like that on the ground because it was that hot. But, yeah. It is what it is though, man. Just don't allow yourself to get caught up in the hysteria. Be informed. Give the kids elderberry syrup. Again, elderberry syrup because that boosts their immune system. Again, uh, a, take a, a pot of water, a teaspoon, or excuse me, a tablespoon of sea salt, a few lemon peels, or some lemon juice, if you, and, and a little bit of lemon juice. Let that steam, you know, let that bring it to a boil and inhale that steam for about like a good five to 10 minutes. 10 minutes might be too much, but I know for at least a good five minutes. Uh, you know that's gonna boost your that's gonna boost your respiratory system again and ward off those viruses and you know things like that take black seed oil take the sea moss you know what I mean you can research this stuff as the you know what I mean just boost your immune system man be good man and you're good you don't have it's like I just came from Walmart and all the things that and I was talking to my friend about this all the things that could boost your immunity and ward off those viruses nobody was buying that stuff in the store nobody was buying pineapple juice um, which can reduce the mucus in your body because the less mucus you have in your body the, the, the less prone you are to being sick see people don't know about this type of stuff you know even if it's orange juice uh, like uh, like the uh, Tropicana orange juice I got it has pineapple juice in it so again, that's going to reduce the mucus in your body, um, and let me make you. The more mucus you have in your body, um, the more prone you are to being sick. Just little information like that that people don't have. 
everybody just wants to tell everybody to stay safe, stay in the house. Nobody's telling anybody how to prevent this stuff. From, you know what I mean? It's and you got people with bigger platforms saying these things, and then guys with little platforms like myself who can't really reach out as many, reach out to as many people. We don't have uh, like I don't have the atten- like I don't, I don't have the notoriety to grab the attention of people to give them this type of information. You know, so I'm, I'm relying on people to pass the video around just to, you know, help and get people informed. You know what I'm saying? You notice that anytime somebody is afraid of something, if there's a group of people afraid of something, there's always that one person that's not afraid of what everybody else is afraid of. That's because that person knows how to defend themselves against it. You know what I'm saying? And it's a million of those so, so, so-called one people right now. That's like a lot of us out here. And we're trying to get that information out there so people don't go crazy and lose their minds. But, you know, because a lot of things have slowed up. The panic, the panic buying has slowed up. You know, things are getting back on store shelves. Stores are getting refilled now and restocked. People are pretty much overworking themselves to make sure they can get all those products on the shelves and things like that. But it's just, I don't know. Then again, we, you know, when you look at the amount of people that's going crazy, I mean, you got to think about it. We live in a time where people have to put labels on bleach and tell you not to drink it. You know what I mean? Innately, you're supposed to know just by smelling the stuff, especially back in the earlier ancient days, you could smell something and know it's not good for you to, you know what I mean? Not, not good for you to, to ingest I don't know just don't believe everything you hear on TV keep yourself informed the information is out there man it's it's not as bad as people trying to make it out to me it's really not so stay calm stay safe play video games watch Netflix or whatever and um you know We gonna get through this, man. This ain't, this shit ain't nothing. This shit ain't nothing. Be awake, young child. Oh yeah.